Hi, in this lesson we are going to look at how to find the square root of a number without using a calculator. So we'll use number 360 as an example which is not a perfect square and then we draw two lines like this and then put the number 360 underneath it and uh, we have to expect a decimal number so therefore we put 360 decimal and in fact we have a pair of numbers before decimal point and then put a comma after 3 so that means uh, 3 comma 60 so if you had four numbers you have two pairs of numbers and then after decimal point uh, zeros pairs of zeros will go what we are uh, going to do is here we're going to find out three decimal points after the whole numbers so so we can go uh, if you want we can extend further so now first one is to take number th look at number 3 which is uh, the first number there we need to find out the perfect square less than 3 so only option is as 1 times 1 is 1 if you take 2 2 times 2 is 4 therefore it is greater than 3 so take 1 times 1 is equal to 1 so 3 take away 1 is 2 now we append 6 0 to 2 2 6 0 so now we take number 1 and multiply it by 2 and then put in front of 2 6 0 so this number 1 take it multiply by 2, this two 1 times 2 is 2 and then we need to find another number which will go on top of 6 0 if you append that to 2 and the same number multiply the two numbers you should get a number less than 260 so let's see let's make it clear so we'll write it in the right here so what we are going to do here is that 2 append a number times that same number should be equal to uh, less than 260 but let's how much is that so let's try one uh, put 6 and see so if you put 6 to 6 26 times 6 is equal to 156 which is less than 260 so we need to carry on and then see until we get a number less, more greater than 260 so 27 times 7 is equal to 189 so it's still less than 260 so go for 8 28 times 8 is equal to 224 so still less than 260 go for the next one 29 times 9 is equal to 261 so now we got a number greater than 260 so therefore we stop there and then use the previous number 28 that 8 should go in that square 28 times 8 is equal to 224 so you put 224 below 260 224 below 260 and take away 224 from 260 we get 36 and then similar to previous case we append 00 to 36 36 0, 0. in fact what you're looking at here is that the decimal point after 18 so put this one there and then take 18 and multiply it by 2 again similar to the previous case and that is 36 you put 36 there so now we have to append a number there which we multiply by the same number it should be a number less than 3600 so what is the number so we need to guess a little bit again so either we can start from 1 or we can guess a bigger number here so we can put instead of uh, starting from the 6 1 we start from 3 6 say a bit higher number larger number so so we put the six appended the number multiplied by the same number so let's try with seven so if you put seven there you get 2569 2569 which is still less than 3600 so we have to go one more uh, higher so the 368 times 8 so still 2944 when you multiply that one so we need to go one more higher 36.9 that's the last number that you can try because we can go up to 9 only so 369 times 9 is equal to 3321 
so we stop here even uh, though we may it's still less than 3600 anyway so but we need to use that number as the last number so 369 times 9 is equal to 3321 so take away 3321 from 3600 what we get here is 279 so append the next two zeros to 279 and then again multiply 189 with by 2 189 times 2 is equal to 378 378 so you put 378 in front of 227900 and then find a number that is appended to 378 multiplied by the same number should be less than 37900 so as a guess I took 7 here so you can try f uh, even before uh, smaller numbers so I when you try 7 we get 26509 so which is less than uh, 27900 we can go one more higher and see uh, when you put 8 there we get 30 304 which is greater than 27900 so in fact so our answer in this particular case it should be 7 so you take the 7 there and put the 7 there multiply 26509 26509 so we get a remainder here that means we can continue further but if you continue further the next number will be 3 but I put 4 because if you continue for 4 numbers digits you get a number greater than uh, 5 so our answer here is 360 square root is equal to 18.9 18.97 so if you approximate it to two decimal points thank you